Alright, good day, great twelves, and welcome to today's video in which we are going to be talking about validation rule in Microsoft Access. Okay, so um, in order to go to that particular area, you can see here I'm in my data sheet view. I'm going to go over to my design view and I'm just going to click on any of these fields and you'll see that I have two items here, one saying the validation rule and the other one talking about the validation text. So there is a difference between the two. The validation rule is going to be the rule that you are applying to that particular cell. Okay, and we'll go through some of those. The validation text is what must display if somebody doesn't obey that rule. If they do not stick to that rule, if they do not enter what you've indicated they should, then there should be some sort of text that then pops up to tell the person, listen, you've done this incorrectly, this is what should be there. So in your textbook, they do give you a table that looks like this. And if we just look at this, you can see the field name, for example, was gender. The data type is short text. The validation rule is saying M or F. In other words, in the cell, the rule for the cell is that only the letters M or F must display. If the person enters something else, what must happen? The validation text must come up. And the validation text in this example will say, enter only M or F. Okay, so you can see there are a number of rules here. And generally, they give this to you in the exams. Um, they, you know, they give you all the rules and that um, as part of the question paper so that you don't, you don't have to remember all of these things. But you just need to understand how it's implemented. So let's go and do one. And let's actually go and create a new field as they indicated there. Short text, that was fine. The validation rule, we're going to say M or F. And our validation text, we're going to say enter only M or F. Okay. Okay, so let's go down. Let's just enter any information here Move over we're going to put in our instrument type and let's just say the piano our default value here is no so let's just leave it as is placement value let's just say a thousand uh, weight no worry too much with that but i want to go over to gender and yeah i want to enter a j and you see what happens there is because I violated that rule, um, it's going to give me the validation text, which is now telling me enter only M or F. So you can type in whatever you want to there, as long as it corresponds um, to the rule over here. So it's <laughs> guys, it's actually got to relate to that. Okay, so I go okay, and then I said okay, M, that's fine, and now you can see it takes me to the next line. So that record is now saved. So this is how our validation rules and validation text then works.